Now, hopes of rekindling the National Alliance Party have been awakened with behind-the-scenes talk of a new party, the Transformation National Alliance Party. A section of Jubilee members unhappy with the current rift in the ruling Jubilee Party have written to the Registrar of Political Parties to reserve the name and potentially register the new party by latest July this year. But as Noah Otieno reports, pointers to a murkier Jubilee Lee House continued to emerge with talk that revival of DP Ruto's former URP party is in the pipeline as well. A house divided. Jubilee's shaky foundation pulling apart at the seams. On the one hand, the Tanga Tanga movement and on the other, Kieleweke. And now, right in the middle emerges another group that believes it has the solution, the rebirth of TNA. Only they plan to tweak the name to Transformation National Alliance Party. Hi, Anduguyang. Those key in the behind the scenes plan to revive the party that sponsored the president in 2013 say that the revival is aimed at providing a safe haven for those who feel orphaned by the dissolution of TNA and more so those who feel that the larger Mount Kenya region lost its security and bargaining power. They have already written to the Registrar of Political Parties to reserve the name and potentially register by latest July this year. Though sources told Citizen TV they already have the bulk of the requirements in place. For instance, the new TNAP has proposed interim officials largely drawn from former candidates for political seats. They include for National Chairman Washira Keen, the immediate former chair of Athi Water Services Board. For National Deputy Chair Programs, Dr. Engineer Cyrus Njiro, former PS Trade, Transport. And for National Vice Chair Programs, Yasir Noor, former TNA aspirant Nyali constituency. For Secretary General, they propose Arnold Maliba, Emerging Leaders Forum. For Organizing Secretary, they propose Agnes Ibarra, the former MCA candidate Ngaru Nairobi. For Treasurer, they propose Doris Aburi, Jubilee candidate and runner-up for Woman Rep KC. They have also listed MPs from the Mount Kenya region that the party views as being in the middle ground and therefore in a position to negotiate for their region. And Citizen TV caught up with two such MPs, their views quite different. I don't see anything wrong with that, you know, because it is, it is legitimate and right and reasonable to take stock of where we are. And if people perceive that Jubilee is not that house within which they can be able to take stock, then that, that's okay. And those are the self-seekers that you see now are, uh, in the back rooms uh, trying to form uh, ethnic-based political parties. Basically just to ride on ethnic emotions to, to try and get back into public life. As required by law, they now face the uphill task of registering 1,000 members per county in at least 24 counties. If successful, the proposed party plans to support a parliamentary bill for expansion of the executive to include a prime minister and two deputies to create room for national inclusion at the helm of the country's leadership. Now, you know, Citizen TV.